Holly Durham International. They want to, they're having a public hearing and want comments on their plans to expand the economy three parking lot. Yeah, to give you an idea of how busy it is, here's what it looks like right now. Tonight, that parking lot is just over half full. CBS 17's Dina Harley joins us live from outside that meeting. Dina, one environmental group plans to be there tonight. Yeah, I spoke with the head of the UMSED coalition. She told me that they have a lot of environmental concerns about that possible expansion, but she mentioned that she's really thankful for the opportunity to voice those concerns at that meeting happening in the building behind me. William E. UMSED State Park, established in 1934, is one of the key reasons that people move to this area and stay in this area. Dr. Jean Spooner is the chair of the Umstead Coalition and she's dedicated to preserving the William B. Umstead State Park in Raleigh. On top of that for a total of 1,700. That's why she's concerned about plans that the Raleigh Durham International Airport has in the works. We have plans to add about 8,000 parking spaces at our Economy 3 parking lot. Airport officials say the parking lot expansion is necessary for two reasons. One is that we are going to start uh, expanding Terminal 2 and adding a new roadway system or improving our roadway system as well as putting in a consolidated rental car facility in about 2025. The second reason, they say the airport is naturally growing and getting busier and they want to be able to accommodate more flyers, but Spooner says that should shouldn't come at the expense of the environment. We're concerned about impacts of deforestation, light. Um, it's proposed to be a rental car storage facility, so uh, washing, refueling, maintenance, um, stormwater. Airport officials say they've taken note of environmental concerns and they're welcoming public input before any plans are put into motion. Uh, this is the first time that we are going through this additional layer of environmental review and we're the first airport in the country to do something like this. Now that meeting will go on tonight until about 7 o'clock, but if you're not able to make it out here tonight, you can still submit comments online on the airport's website. Live in Raleigh, Dina Harley, CBS 17 News. All right, Dina, thanks for that.